What's up guys, welcome back to another video. I'm super excited about this video because it's the first video of a plethora of videos I'm coming out with that's gonna give as much free game as I possibly can, whether you're a beginner trader, experienced trader, it's gonna be dope. So not only do I want you to like and subscribe so you're aware of every video that I come out with, I want you to comment down below maybe some topics or some things that you need to work on as a trader yourself so I can do my best to help you out, right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into today's video. Today, we're gonna to be talking about understanding support and resistance, key levels, key zones, and so much more. So let's go ahead and get into it. So right now, as you can see, I'm on the hourly chart. This is in queue and we have a naked chart, right? There's nothing here, no, no nothing on here. No indicators, no volume, just price action. And if you don't know what price action is, it's the relationship between buyers and sellers. Now, when you see a naked chart like this, at least from my perspective, when I was a beginner, I felt as if, uh, what's the word? I, it was very chaotic to me. It was like, yo, I just see stuff everywhere. I don't know what's going on. Like, how the heck am I ever going to understand any of this? And if you feel like that right now, don't worry. It's pretty normal. Let's go ahead and get into how we can start breaking this down. We want to make the chaos make sense. Now, I already told you the, the, the definition of price action is the relationship between the buyers and the sellers. Now, what I want to do with you know with that relationship is find consistencies and what i mean by consistencies is being able to find where the price action uh, is repetitive right so and and that's honestly how we will be able to identify support identify resistance identify key levels right so let's go ahead and get into it so right now i'm on the hourly chart so what i want to do i want to i want to i want the price action to make sense i want to make this chart make sense so i'm going to go ahead and do that so boom right first thing first I automatically see this support level. Now, Isaac, what makes this a support level? So let's go ahead and zoom in really quick so I can break this down for you. Let's make that a little bigger, drag that back down, right? So what makes this support? So pretty much what support is, is a consistent bounce off a specific level, right? So you can see here, we have a bounce here, boom, a bounce here, a bounce here. You can see the price action continuously bounces off the same exact level. What does that let you know as a trader? That lets me know that I want to be aware of this level because if the price were to come back down to this level, then there may be an opportunity here for a potential play, right? Obviously, we're not going to assume what's going to happen, but we want to be aware. That's all we're doing. We're going to make ourselves aware of this level. So if we do, if the price does end up coming back down to this level, I am aware of it, right? You can see here we held this level meaning that we didn't just go right under the level. Like we, we, the price came down, the sellers pushed it down, and guess what the buyers did? The buyers said, nah, we're holding this level, and we bounced back up. What happened again? We came back down, the buyer said, all right, we're here again, this is our level, we're gonna bounce back up, and that's what we did, right? So that is a perfect, ex perfect example of what a support level is. Now, Isaac, what's resistance, right? We can look right here. You can see here, we made it move up, boom, rejected. We made it move up again, rejected again, made it move up again, rejected again. And then when the market opened that next day, we opened up above the level. Now, you may be wondering, Isaac, well, this time you kind of drew through the candles. You, you, I mean, you, there's a can, you drew through a candle right here. There's a wick right here. You drew through the wick. You drew through these wicks. Now, I'm glad you asked that. When you're drawing support and resistance, I don't want you to, it's not going to look like a Google image, right? I don't want you to marry a level. And what I mean by level, I mean a specific number. I do not want you to marry that specific number, right? Because my levels or your levels or what she draws or he draws isn't absolute. It isn't the end all be all. Like this is not a guaranteed level, right? I want to be aware of an area more so than anything else. Because, you know, let's say, for example, Right. If I just see, you know, this level break above, that doesn't automatically mean I'm going to believe that, oh, now we're going to shoot for the moon or just because we break, you know, this specific level, we wick right here. Oh, we're going to shoot for the moon. Right. I want to be aware of the area. Right. So I'm not going to I'm not going to base my decision making off of, oh, we broke this level by one cent or one penny. Or, or 10 cents. No, that's that's not the way it works. I understand that this is a level. Now, as we move forward in these videos, we'll talk about what criteria I need for me to take a play. But, you know, just because we do something like this, we wake above a level or we have one candle above a level, that doesn't guarantee that, uh, oh, the level's broken or, or the level's invalid. No, this level's still very valid. You can see how we were holding this level for a while. Now, if you're somebody who still has trouble 
Isaac, well, I see the line right there and I'm having trouble just saying that, you know, it doesn't, you know, that that line is absolute. What can I do instead? Okay, here's what I'll do. If I ever have trouble with a level like that, um, I always draw a zone. Right, and that's just me. This usually helps me not marry a specific level because now I'm just I'm just aware of a general area. So now when we approach this level, I understand. Okay, we, this is a this is a rejection. Uh, this is a rejection zone or whatever you want to call it. But right? there's different names for it. But this is a level I should be aware of because the sellers have control at this level. Right? If the buyers were to claim this level and make and, and, and really reclaim the level based off, like I said, the criteria that we'll go over in another level. Uh, I'm sorry, in another video, then we would we would uh, we would consider, you know, taking play, taking the place of the upside. But for for the time being, we can see here that, you know, this general area right here is very is a very important level or zone for the sellers. Right. And as a trader, I want to be aware of those important zones. Right. We can even go right here. Right. Boom. Look at that. Like, I don't really care that we drew through here, right? That's not really what I'm talking about, but you guys can see this right here, right? Check this out. Zoom in just a little bit. Right, look, we made a move down. Boom, buyers held it. Boom, buyers held it. Boom, buyers held it again. And then we came, we went all the way up here, rejected up here, sellers brought it back down. Boom, the buyers held it again, right? So the buyers are super strong here. The buyers are holding this level. And, and get this, get this. We're making this make sense, right? We're understanding where the what the buyers are saying and doing and what the sellers are saying you're doing at a specific area. And we don't need indicators to do that, right? We don't need to worry about uh, the, the MACD, RSI, anything, any of those things right now. We're simply just watching these levels and trying to understand, you know, who's in control based off of the, the consistency with the price action, right? So let's move on, right? We can see here. That like we have a, little, uh, a double top action, right? Right. We had a rejection here. Boom. Uh, buyers brought it up. Sellers brought it down. Buyers tried it again. Sellers brought it down again. Right. So boom. I want to be aware of this level, especially because you can see here it's a high. So I always want to be aware of that level. Right. Let's see here. Let's see. Let's see what else we got. And we're still in the hourly too. Right. Looks like we made a move down, and then we kind of. I, I would even put one right here just because. Let's see. Right, we zoom in just a little bit. Right, we zoom in, you can see here, check this out. We, we were holding this level, almost had like a descending triangle look, right? I wouldn't necessarily play that, if, <laughs> to be honest. I didn't really, I don't really like this price action, but you can see here, right? We have support here where we, bam, wick, wick. We held that level, right? Made a move up, rejected, Projected off this top and then came down, held that level again. And then look right here. Boom. We made that same support level now a resistance level, right? Just so we're seeing these consistencies with these levels. We're seeing why these levels are important, right? We're, we're seeing why we should why we should pay attention to these levels. Right? Let's stay on the hourly for a little bit so we can make and then just go back in time and really just practice doing this and getting these reps in. Right, let's look at this. Looks like we do we have something right here. Um, we made it's a little choppy right here. It's a little choppy. I don't really like that. And what I mean by choppy is when we just kind of have price price action just kind of everywhere. Um, there's no general, no really defined direction. Um, like for example, if I kind of if I put it right here, right, like I'm okay with that, but not the way it looks right here. I would more so just so I don't confuse myself, so this uh, so the chart always remains clean. I put a zone right here. That would make me feel good, right? Because now look, look what I can say, right? Because like I said, we're not going to marry a level. We're not going to say, oh, this specific number is the number and there's nothing else, right? I didn't like that level. It looked a little choppy. So you know what I did? But I but I understood that this level, there was some importance here because look, not only do we have one rejection, we have another rejection, another rejection, another rejection here, just looking at these candles. We make a move down and then we just start chopping right here in the zone. We can see here, we zoom in a little bit, right? We zoom in, you can see here, right? Rejection, 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 right? Rejection again, we broke it, right? We retested it. Now we made it a support level and then we continued on our way up and then eventually brought us into our next phase. But, but you can see here how 
right? Resistance became support. Just how over here, see if I can find it. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here, right? Support, support became resistance, right? And if you're ever like, well, that, how did you tell that's resistance or support? Yada, yada, yada. I can't really see it very well, right? Reminder, we're still on the hourly, right? So as we move down in time frames, we'll be able to identify those uh, those levels even more simply because there'll be more candles, right? The lower the time frame, the more candles there'll be, right? But just for the sake of learning and understanding, right? I just wanted to stay on the hourly so we can really get those reps in, right? Boom, let's see here, check this out, right? We just wanna make sense of these charts. Look at this, right? We got rejection, boom, we need to break it out. Right. Seller stepped in, said, no, sir, no, ma'am. I want to reject this level. I don't I don't want y'all staying there. You know, so buyers said, OK, you're stronger than we are. Brought it back down. But the buyer said, nah, we're, we're taking control right here. Right. We're finding these consistencies because what's going to happen is the previous price action is going to give you confidence in possible moves in the future. Right. So, for example, let's check this out. So we we have resistance here. We broke out. We rejected right but we bounce here we bounce here again we made another move up here right the hourly like i said there's certain criteria that's going to let me know whether i want to take a play or not but what you can't be thinking right you because you can always you always want to try to anticipate not guess but anticipate a move you can say here okay boom we're here we're we're at an hourly resistance level so it's fair to say that i could possibly look for a possible downward move because we are at an hourly resistance level. That's not fair. That's not that's not that's fair to say. Right. Boom. We reject it. Let's say you miss this move. Right. Now we're back here. We're back here at a support level. You may you it's, it's reasonable to say based on we're at an hourly support level. We bounce here twice. It's not unreasonable to say that we may have a move up. Now, understand my language. I'm not saying we're going to have a move up. We're definitely going to have a move up. It's guaranteed we're going to have a move up because you don't know until, like I said, other criteria matches up and it leads you to believe that, OK, I have a high confidence that this is going to do this. Right. And in this case, we made a move down. Right. Cool. You know, the best part about trading, you can play the upside and the downside. There's plenty of opportunity here. Plenty, plenty of opportunity. Right. And you can see here we ended up having, you know, we, we came down and, you know, it was a really, really big sell off. Right. And then we had a, you know, bounce right here. We also also have a level here. I'll just put that there. And I would probably get like this. Right. You can see that resistance and then that re that resistance level became a support level. Right. You're seeing the consistencies now. Remember consistencies. Right. But let's say but even here, we, we dumped, we dumped at this level here, right? Came down, bounced off of here and look where we held, right? Boom. We broke out or we went right back above the same level and we held that level. You know what I, you know, it's fair to say we're holding a support level. It's fair to say that we may be looking at a move up. So let me try to anticipate a move up here, right? So you're getting what I'm saying now where we're finding those consistencies, right? Let's move down. Right. We haven't we're going to talk about this in another video, but I just can't help it. Right. Look at that trend line. Right. Trend line support. Right. We bounce here. Boom. Bounced here. Boom. Bounced here. Bounced here. Bounced here. Bounced here. Right. Into this resistance level. Then finally broke out the resistance level. Right. So we're seeing look, it's all about consistency. We, we saw we consistently bounce off the same level. Therefore, I want to be aware of that level no matter what, no matter what. Right. Right here. Let's see. Let's look. This looks chaotic right now, but let's clean it up a little bit. Let's clean it up a little bit. Boom. I like to say we have a, a, a zone right here where we have some resistance, right? Isaac, where do you see that? Well, let's break it down. Look, we got resistance here. Boom. Resistance. Resistance. Right? That's two rejections so far. Three rejections. Four rejections. Right? It gets choppy. It's okay. We're, this, the chart's not always going to look like a Google image, right? Accept that. Right. If you use some of you guys go on Google, type in uh, triangle pattern. And if it doesn't look exactly like that, it's not a triangle pattern. 
That's not necessarily the case, guys, right? Don't marry these Google images, right? The chart's not always gonna look so clean, but you have to understand, as long as you understand the relationship and the consistencies between the buyers and the sellers, then you're good to go. But you can see here we have these that, that series of rejections, choppiness, then what? Look at this, we bounce off the same level that was a resistance level, and we bounce again. Then we bounce again and then here we bounce off the trend line support and the and the zone right so now that gives us two reasons why we should believe it can go up right and we haven't even gotten to the lower time frames right where so we're finding the reasons why these plays may be valid or why or are these potential setups and we're not like i said no indicators no anything we're just finding these consistencies right let's see let's let's move on back let's move on back we have anything right here? i think we do we had to move down here. We had a false breakout here. As you can see here, we reclaimed, right? And we'll talk about how to identify a false breakout or false breakouts in future videos. But you can see the consistency here, right? We bounced here, rejected, 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 right? Came back down, reclaimed, we bounced again. Then we fell through, but what do we do? We retraced back up, we retested. What do we ultimately do again, right? Cause we have many examples of this happening already, right? Where support, support became resistance right and then we made a move up and then we rejected the same level back here then the same level again right then we made a move boom and now we're, we're here again with another example we already made we have resistance here now we have support now we have support now we have support right so that's what it's all about it's about being able to at least in the beginning because don't get me wrong this is very very basic uh beginner friendly information right but this is where you have to start. This is where you have to start. This, this is where I started. So with all that being said, what you want to do moving forward is practice. Do exactly what I did in this video and practice, 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 practice. Go back in time. Go from stock to stock, ticker to ticker, and practice finding these levels. What you want to do is develop an eye for it. And what I mean by developing an eye for it is you want to be able to identify these things relatively easily. You don't want to have to only, you know, you don't want to only be able to see these things after the market's closed. You want to get to the point where you can see it very quickly and then also be able to see it when the market's developing, when the price action is developing, when these levels are forming. But that's all I got for this video. Do me a favor. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I really want to get all this information out to you guys. I got so much more coming. Leave a comment down below if you have anything in particular that you want me to go over. I'll be happy to do that for you and I will see you guys in the next video.